and welcome to Summer Sparkling Good Time. So, uh, my last Ride With Me vlog was on Thursday, is that the 14th? Yeah. Trini's in the car with me, but she has requested not to be on camera because she says she's looking ugly today. <laughs> so, Trini, you can say hi. Hi. Um, so, I had started to try to film this yesterday. Um, when we were supposed to be headed out to uh, work and then uh, Trendy had an appointment for trigger point injections, but um, Plans, <laughs> sorry, but okay, plans have changed. Yeah, that's what happened um, Trinity So last June Trinity got really sick um, Ended up with pericarditis, pericardial effusion, pleural effusion it was bad. She was in the hospital in the transitional care unit for two weeks. It, it was not good. We since did all the heart testing and all that. Her heart's fine. And we had started the process to make sure everything was cleared for her to start school again. Because they took her off school and work last year. So we were trying to get clearance from the cardiologist and pulmonologist for her to start college again this fall. And... We had seen her cardiologist, um, her pump, so the cardiologist has cleared her. Her heart, great. As long as she's taken the pro propanol or whatever it's called, um, her heart rate is staying at a normal person's rhythm, beats per minute, because she was tachycardic for a long time. Um, but when we went to the pulmonologist, he's like, well, I want a CT before I'll clear. So we did this CT on June 3rd. Was it June 3rd? Yeah. Okay. So June 3rd we did the CT and we got the results back like the 12th or the 13th I think. Ah, and Ashley was here. It was the 11th. It was the day she got here. And um, there is a 3x3x2 three by three by area of focal density which they are, the radiologist says they, they can't tell if it's pneumonia, collapsed lung, or a neoplasm. And, you know, we, if you're unfamiliar, a neoplasm means a cell growth or tumor mass, whatever you want to call it. But we wouldn't know if it was cancer or non-cancerous until, like, later. Um, so, currently not clear to go back to school, but her pulmonologist, our appointment to see him again isn't until mid-July because he's on vacation. So when we got the results back from the CT scan, we went to Trinity's new primary care. That was last Friday. And requested uh, the PET scan per the radiologist's recommendations on the CT scan. And she went ahead and ordered that. Betwixt and between Trinity's back pain, um, if you're unfamiliar, Trinity has also already had to have a uh, disectomy, laminotomy, and foraminotomy, some, uh, on, huh? A laminectomy, a foraminotomy, for, for, what? Whatever. She had the three surgeries they do to the spine at the L5-S1 in 2021. February, no, February, huh? It's February 2021. Yeah, it's 21. Eric, we were, I was still with Eric when you did it. Okay, and so we've had spine specialists before. This is like, it's like, but the, the back pain she's having now, she just thought was more back issues because she has the uh, degenerative disc disease and the ehlers danlos and the issues. So she just assumed that this pain that was new and developing over the last, what, four months? Um, was just her spine back connectivity issues. Now we're wondering if the back pain she's experienced is actually from the lung. Because when she started showing me where the new pain was, I'm pretty sure it's love. So today we're driving from Chapter up to where am I going? 
Redwood City, um, which is like a satellite uh, office for uh, UCSF and her spine doctor. But we packed bags because yesterday we went to the emergency room because Trini's pain got so bad. And so they basically did an x-ray and another CT and they're like, yeah, there's this big thing on your lung. Um, but they didn't do anything. The only thing they did was they gave her a prescription for antibiotics. And I'm a little hesitant to have her start antibiotics because they're like, just, just in case it's pneumonia. Well... I'm sorry, but don't we have like this huge crisis of where we're not supposed to use antibiotics unless we know we need antibiotics and they're the correct antibiotics because like then when you need the antibiotics, they don't work anymore. I'm like, am I missing that? I, I, I'm pretty sure that happened or is happening. And so Trinity in January had that blood infection and was in, on antibiotics for well over a month, multiple different times. So I'm not comfortable just throwing antibiotics at her if we don't even know if that's what it is. Uh, that seems like a little bit nutso to me. And I still haven't figured out why, if we, because we told the ER, okay, the CT was done, you know, June, the, but here's the CT. And they did another CT, because I'm like, okay, so you're exposing her to more radiation in case it is a neoplasm? That, 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 that doesn't make sense to me. I have a truck trying to pass me on the right, and, sir. It didn't work. Uh, so it just, we've had a crazy two days. And so that's been my chaos. And so we have our bags packed just in case because if we don't pack our bags, she'll get admitted every time. Every single time we go to San Francisco and do not have bags with us, she gets admitted. You can take it to the bank. Um, <laughs> But typically, if we do pack a bags, it's only like a, what, 50, 50% odds on if they admit you <laughs> if we take her bags with us. She's into her phone, so. It's all right. I just, I forgot you were, like, had a life besides me. It's all about me, Trinity. Don't you know? I'm talking all about you. You're sure all about me. <laughs> so, we're headed to Redwood City. We've never been to this place, this one. Um. It's, it's her original spine doctor. Uh, we, this is the one we went with first because she uh, is very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, she tries to do uh, non-surgical uh, measures as much as possible. So when Trent was on the paid side, uh, this was our first option. Uh, but Trinity does have... Oh, I forgot the kyphosis and the mild scoliosis. But the kyphosis kyphosis, which is the one that makes her like, lean forward. That one was which was still at Valley Children, was borderline, I think one or two degrees um, where they were going to do surgery. Huh? Two degrees. Um, so it was like right on the cusp on if they were going to do surgery or not. But then we fired Valley Children's and UCSF decided since everything else was going around with her that that was the least of our worries at the time. The least of all of it is. So, but Trinity, I think, says now that everything else is fairly well under, you know, managed, right? You feel like most things are pretty well managed, except the back pain. So, the back pain to her is now the worst thing. As long as she gets her remicade on time, the thing she complains about most is the, what you call it? Like, I forgot what the name of the part was called when we talked about it. And so, she had her infusion Tuesday. Okay, so last time I talked to you, it's Thursday. Thursday. And then, what did I do Friday? I think I down and painted. If, no, I filmed, I think, all day Friday. No? I filmed all day Monday. I don't know what I did. We didn't really do much this weekend, except, like, each hung out and did our thing. Trinity was trying to get her battle pass stuff done so she got the 200 on overwatch don't ask me what that means except which means she gets bonus gifts when we pay for the battle pass i guess she gets a title no no i don't know you can't whisper
exalted them to the level of the battle pass. So if you see someone with that title, you know, well, they, they go ham. So it's an ego thing. Yeah. Okay. It's an ego thing, guys. Um, so, oh well. Uh, so, but she had a deadline to have the 200, whatever that means, by when? Today? Yes, yeah, yesterday. Last yeah. night at midnight, I think. So, that's what I think she was focusing on this past weekend. And uh, I mostly diamond painted. Oh, yeah, I finished the, uh, the both the Hannah Lands is what I did. Uh, and got those done. And I fixed the two canvases and I did some filming. But, like, Monday I filmed all day. All day. Um, and then Tuesday... Oh, Tuesday was Trinity's Infusion Day. And so, uh, Nurse Benny shows up. We love Nurse Benny. Um, and, um, for the first time ever, Nurse Benny couldn't get Trinity's IV started. Which is, like, crazy. But it's one of the reasons, like, Trinity had the port before. Is she's a really hard stick. And, um, like, it was so bad that Benny exceeded her allotment of pokes. Whatever. So, we had to call, well, Benny had to call her supervisor, and our supervisor had to call another one of the home infusion nurses, and then a lady finished her infusion she was doing in Modesto, then got in the car and drove from Modesto down to Chowchilla, started the IV, left, and then poor, poor nurse Benny, she was there till what, 11 o'clock, 11.30? She didn't get home until 1230 because we had her uh, in Texas when she got home. And uh, she, she, she didn't get home until uh, 1230 because I was shocked when Trinity's phone went off in the middle of night. And I'm like, what? And she goes, Nurse Penny just got home. I'm like, oh my goodness. And then yesterday we spent the day in the ER and I had to cancel clients and her doctor's appointment. And it's been, it's been a crazy little, I feel like. It was like, it's all or nothing with us, you know? It's either we have nothing going on and everybody's just holed up in their own little space. Me doing my dumb painting, trending gaming. Uh, my mom's been working on uh, sewing these bears. Uh, that sounds so weird. So my mom, uh, many, many years ago, would do the thing where she'd take, like, people's uh, fur coats, like, meat, rabbit, whatever, and she would uh, turn them into, like, bears for mementos for people who, like, the coat belonged to their mother or whatnot. And so a lady from Waterford, uh, which is over by Odell, um, had seen a set that my mom had done at someone's house for Christmas. And she had her mother's old uh, stole. I mean, stole. And so she had shipped all of that and her dad's wedding clothes with that, I guess, or his favorite suit or something to my mom, and my mom has been sewing these bears out of these family items, you know, for this woman and her, I guess, three sisters, because my mom did four bears. And so I've been having to help accessorize the bears with bows and whatnot. And, and I mean, it's pretty neat, because I'm like, you know, fur coats are not really what anyone's wearing anymore. Uh, but to take, you know, your mother or grandmother's favorite prize possession and turn it into something that, you know, keep, I mean, that's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. So, the bears. And then, that's basically my Redwood City is just outside San Francisco. Um, the bulk of Trinity specialists are out of UCSF. Uh, that's the University of California, San Francisco. Um, typically, when she's hospitalized, it's at UCSF Parnassus now that she's an adult. Um, anyone ever needs help, you know, what do you call that? Navigating the UCSF Minioff Children's Hospital System is a holler because. Um, there a lot. <laughs> we spent two Christmases <laughs> in the children's hospital. It was great. So, that's what we're doing. We're just a few boo-boo head. Oh, 
And CHP got you nervous? Why? Why is he got you nervous, sir? He's got his lights on. He's still doing paperwork. Okay. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I don't know. Trinity's case manager for the insurance who helps me like navigate and battle all the approvals if, or if there's a denial or helps coordinate care or if like a doctor or we have a preferred provider we want for something like helps make sure we get that and, and make sure she's getting any and all services she needs qualifies for etc. She is on a flipping conference this week out of town. And so, like, I sent her a message and I'm like, Susan, Susan, I need you. And she's like, Summer, I'm out of town this week. I'm like, no, not my Susan. So, I think she's coming back into town tomorrow. So, I'm pretty sure uh, there will be multiple phone calls tomorrow. And we have just made it to this little town of Livingston. And that's where the Foster Farms Chicken Frosters places, and it stinks so bad. We normally, when we drive through, we go, Ooh, chicken bits. Trying to text texting like a crazy person out here. I don't know who she's talking to. Apex released a video. Oh, Apex released a video, guys. Where? Because Apex is three players. Uh huh. Uh, and then right now they took away the two player option, you got Big Ben. There's only solos. Now solos is going to be four people. <gasps> I can play with all my friends at the same time. Oh, you. Oh, that's good. Woo! And. And. There's like skins that, that you do damage and then they evolve and how they look. And there's only like four of them right now or five, I don't know. But the next one is for the Oh, for the character you'd like. Why does he have his chair like that? Yeah, he looked cool. That made my back hurt. We just drove by a guy and his like chair had his like face in the steering wheel and it looked very uncomfortable. And he was not a small guy like that he needed that. He looked like a bigger guy and it made my back hurt. So Trinity's probably texting all our buddies about Nick for player mode. Ooh. Yeah, exactly what she did. Um uh, back when Trinity was on the paint side, um, I was very adamant and so was the her rheumatologist was like the main specialist. Like he made the rules, <laughs> but he was also the head of uh, the pain clinic uh, for the kids at UCSF. So like he was her doctor twice, while everybody else was just once. So he he, he was the top dog. And um, like if anyone wanted to do anything with Trinity, I was like, what does Doctor Bernal say? And <laughs> if Doctor Bernal did not agree, we didn't do it. But him and I were both adamant that Trinity wasn't to take narcotics unless she was admitted uh, into the hospital and that like it was acute pain not chronic pain because the way he explained to me was you know she is she was 16 years old he goes she's going to be in pain every day for the rest of her life he goes I don't want her to be an addict by the time she's I think he's at 20 and I'm like I'm right there with you let's let's skip that and so we have focused on, let's see, massage therapy, acupuncture, aromatherapy, distraction therapy, meditation, music therapy, art therapy. Um, we, we've done everything and we could to not have her feel the need for narcotics, especially opioids. What are you touching me? What's your favorite rest area? What's the name of this rest area? Enoch Christofferson. Enoch Christofferson rest area. And it's Trinity's favorite and I have no idea why. She's got a little sombrero. Not sombrero. What is it? The farmer hat? Straw hat? No. Cowboy hat. That's not a farmer hat. Yeah, it is. Everyone I know wears one. <laughs> the really? It's not a farmer hat. It's cowboy hat. Everybody you know wears one. I do not wear a cowboy hat. Papa Lowell did not wear a cowboy hat. He was a farmer. Well, he's a ranger. Yeah. I 
understand. Because, like, orchards aren't farming, they're ranching. But when I think of the difference between ranching and farming, ranching to me is animals. Farming is crops. You know what I mean? Uh, so we have now made it to the sparkling metropolis of Turlock. Um, last week I told you Turlock, this is where you see Stanis, no, CSU Stanislaus is. the cheapest gas normally this way. <laughs> we stopped at the new gas station between Chochilla and the well, it's not between. It's like right before you get to Merced, but outskirts of Merced, like Merced's moving that way too. Um, and I'm hitting the pumps. I'm driving by Braille. And there's the big United Tractor. United Equipment. I don't know if you will see it. It'll be out this window. See it? Here we go. Uh, so now... Oh, the Dust Bowl Brewing Company is up here on the left, which, if you're ever in the Central California for any reason, and you're in the Turlock area, fabulous place to eat. And, uh, they do tours of the brewery, which is really neat. Um, and uh, if you enjoy beer, which I do not, <laughs> but my ex was a... Tastes uh, like you ate patch of grass. Yes, and beer tastes like grass, is what I think. Um, they have uh, quite a few different uh, varieties, and I think they're they started like they manufacture and ship now. I don't know if they're outside of California, but Dust, Dust Bowl Brewing is here off. Uh, not is it off West Main? Yeah, because that's the way to go to Patterson, so it should be. Is it this exit or the next exit? I gotta look down the street and tell you. <laughs> oh, is that it? Did you spill stuff around it? What is it? What is the, what is the act of church service? Thank you. Do I look like a dictionary or the thesaurus? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's written right there on your forehead. I'm going to read it right on your forehead. Building with the blue one, I come from. I can't say the Romans. Is it Ammons? It's Ammons. No, this is the Red Dust Bowl Brewery. I see it's right over there. And they have this like really nice outdoor section where you can eat and like, like they have like like lawn games and stuff, and you can take your dogs to their outdoor areas. Really cool. They like this bowl. They have really good pizza. But if you I go to huh? you like Applebee's. What are you talking about? Is that the wrong intersection? You need to You're at the wrong intersection? Are you talking about where the Costco and all the shopping is? The, the, the place we went for Christina's birthday. Oh, the Tin Pin? Yeah. This is where they have the Joann's and Five Below, Coles, Olive Garden. Five Below is my fave. They got a Jimper Jam. They have a Jimper Jam. A Jamba Juice? They got the Target, the Old Navy, the Home Goods, like TJ Maxx. It's like a really good shopping center. We like it. They got In and Out. Yep, In and Out. And Tin Pins is over here behind Lowe's, right? Yeah. That's where I thought it was. Okay, how many? Because it has bowling, laser tag, a giant arcade. It's a like giant it's, arcade. It's like if Dave and Buster's had bowling. Oh, so if Dave and Buster's had bowling. Right there, it's huge. It's huge. Like, it, it's massive. But do they have like food? Oh, there's some Yeah, but it's like more more like a restaurant and less like John's Oh, okay. So it's 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 David it's, Buster's with it's, bowling. It's David Buster's with bowling. It's called Tin Pin in Turlock. So if you have in Turlock. Trinity's man, I am not. We we lied and we fo didn't follow code of conduct. <gasps> and I'm sorry. We ran during laser tag. Who does it run during? It, you're not supposed to. The guy, he was talking to us like SpongeBob. He said, Are you already kids? And then we weren't supposed to run, and we did. And I'm sorry. This is my confession. How can you play laser tag or paintball and not run? Um, you're supposed to be stealth. Um, no. This is a spec ops machine. I'm not on a spec 
observation. Uh, Trinity's been playing paintball since she was four. And I'm good at it. <laughs> and I, I, I was very, very into paintball when she was young. Like we were everyone. But like when she was little, I would, we were at the paintball field every weekend, every weekend. And like, we just had a standing, um, dis waiver, yeah, waiver. I was like, not disclaimer, what is it, a waiver? That, like, I would not sue them for if she got hurt. And all the little boys that were out there would always pick Trinity for their team because she was so little, but she was fast and she was a really good shot. Absolutely. And so they, they when they were playing the capture of the flag type thing, they really, really wanted her. And they would choose, like, another one of their best shots and, like, put them on her as a sniper. And that person, would, that their whole job was to keep her alive. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you just see this little girl, choo, 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 through all the, like, the big spools and stuff they have out there. And I was normally refing the games, so... kids wouldn't let me play anymore because they said I was too good. <laughs> but they let Trini play. And she was the youngest one by a few years. <laughs> we had good times in Texas. That's when we lived in Texas. It was hot. Huh? It was hot. It was hot. But if Trini ever sees a uh, the, the oil drilling rigs, she goes, ooh, Robbie's making money. To this day. To this day. And that was my friend, uh, Kayla's boyfriend at the time, who worked out of the oil companies. And every time Kayla would drive by, she'd say it, and Trinity picked it up. Twenty-two dollars and eleven horses at her mother's house. Yes. <laughs> Trinity has a thing for numbers. Like she can don't say it out loud, but she can still say her. Uh, what grade did you have? Fifth grade teachers. License plate number. It was an accident. If I see it, it's just gonna get locked in. If she sees numbers, they get locked in. I think I want to know where I'm at her for license. I don't know. You're a weirdo. You know, she won. Let's make a deal. She won. Let's make a deal. Yeah. What's that in the road, Trinity? Okay. What do we call it? Got a gator in the road. Not my gator. Not your gator. <laughs> Not your gator. <laughs> For Trinity's uh, what, 23rd birthday, uh, I hosted for her, well, she, we hosted a murder mystery dinner party. Then you're the ones you get in the box. And everybody gets a character. And uh, I think I've talked about this before. But uh, my bestie, Kathy, her husband, uh, his character name was Gator. And, like, during when he was talking... He ad libbed that what was it? Go crawdads and put both of his hands up like this, and now all of Trinity's friends are like, Go crawdads. <laughs> so, where are we at, Modesto? No, serious. Where am I? You know, I'm actually, I can't find my map. I have every other app. It's a there. very dull Tesla coming up beside me. Uh, yeah, serious. It's matte. It's matte. It's a matte gray Tesla. But it doesn't I even have a gloss it. on it. I don't hate you don't hate it? I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm not sure how I feel about it at all. Hmm. Series. Series is like still right outside. <laughs> it's like this little hiccup between uh, Turlock and Medeso. It's very different. Our country. Huh? And actually, you sent me a, a gift. I'm trying to say thank you. But it was of Sarah Paulson. Oh, you love Sarah Paulson. She's a great actress. She's very good actor. I love her. I know you did. You did. I, I, you did productions in the new I, you, you, you have to tell me the same facts every time. Your autism showing. I'm not, not telling you. Oh, you're telling the viewers? Sorry. She's not telling me. She's telling you all. I don't like American Horror Story. Because you're a coward. You're I am not a coward. A scaredy cat. I am a scaredy cat. And you're short. Trinity, you better stop with your short comments. I'm over it. I'm five foot eight. 
and she's calling me short. Before her spinal surgery training was measuring like five foot eleven three quarters. Five foot eleven three quarters. <laughs> Almost six foot. But since the spinal surgery She's like five and nine ish, but she's she's still claiming to be almost six foot. It's like Napoleon. I have like short guys. Yeah, short guy syndrome since they took your inches. I'm beginning to wonder if it's the kyphosis that's causing a lot of the number. They gave Bryson surgery. He gave like seven inches. Well, Bryson, yeah, the uh, one of my uh, best friends growing up, her son and Trudy were in the hospital at the same time when we were still at Father Children's, and he had the kyphosis as well, but his was. Way worse. Way like worse. Degrees. Like his was like 10 or 12 degrees more than Trinity's. And uh, so they went and did the straightening where they put the rod in and stuff like that. And like that kid got so tall, like overnight. I was like, what just happened? I know. I saw him in the hospital before his surgery. And I was like, have fun, buddy. And she was taller than him. And then after the surgery, he was taller than her. God, I'm even mad. Oh, we're finally in Modesto. And then we get to branch off in Manteca, 15 miles, which is 15 miles from where we are, apparently. And then, um, I'm going to have to, like, edit the shit out of this video. saying squats and I'm like why are you happy about exercising I did not understand what was happening I was like I've seen her at physical therapy she didn't like squats <laughs> I don't like physical therapy no we well, like Jennifer though she was awesome oh when we were at the hospital yesterday a girl I went to school with way back in the day uh, who's also named Jennifer which is what prompted this that triggered the memory uh, was working there so her gave me warm blankets while I was sitting in the uh, waiting room waiting for Trinity. Oh, and then, oh my gosh. So St. Agnes Hospital in Fresno, California. You're really good at I am out and I'm, I'm pissed. So they won't let you into the main waiting area if you have an IV. When I say that the drug problem in Central, about the Central California is bad, I am not being facetious. I'm not exaggerating. It's bad. So, if you have an IV, you're not allowed in the main waiting room because you can dip out, right? So, once they put the IV in Trinity yesterday, we were separated. She was back there. I was in the main waiting area. And then she texted me, you know, that they were going to release her and all this stuff. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go get in the car because I was freezing my butt off. And I needed to use the restroom and I, I needed to migrate out. And I was hungry. And I was tired, and my phone was dying. And so, I went out, and I was in the car. And then I saw her, and like coming out the door, and I went and picked her up. And we are out at the stoplight, like, away from the hospital, getting ready to turn. And Trini went to move her arm, and she went, Ow, why did that hurt? And she looked down, the IV is still in her arm. So we had to go down the street, flippy you, go back to the hospital, and then Trini went into the doors, and I told her, I said, immediately go in and go straight to security and said, they let this in, I need help. And so she said she walked in, and the security guard got big mad. What did he say? He was like, this is a serious matter. It's a serious matter. And um, he stopped, like, metal detecting people in and took her to the back immediately. And then the lady, the triage nurse, she was like up there by the security guard. Uh, she was panicking. And um, they got her in the back and they got the IV out. And they were talking about whose bed she was in and whose butt was going to be in trouble. Speed check ahead. Speed check ahead. And then. I broke triage. my nail. No. But then the triage nurse would let me out. Oh, yeah. And then the triage nurse was like, stop. And like inspected her for any other medical devices before she was allowed to leave. <laughs> but I was like, they left the IV in you? What the hell? I don't even know how that happens. No one checked me. No one checked me. I, no one took it out. I'm like, there should have been an order to remove IV put in the computer. Someone 
checked off that they removed your IV to get your discharge paperwork. Because you have your discharge paperwork in your hand. Mm -hmm. And Trini's like, well, I'll just take it out in the car. I'm like, you are not going to just take that out. What if something happens? Okay. I know you do it with Benny at home, but that is also in a controlled environment where she creates a sterile environment and all that. Oh, because the inside of our car is not sterile. The, the inside of our car is not sterile, especially your side. Your feet on my dash. And so, and like when you're doing it in the hospital or you're doing it at the house with Nurse Benny, it's a sterile environment and you have medical professionals right there next to you in case something goes screwy. Um, Trinity, they let Trinity do, well, especially at Benny, they let Trinity do so many things Trinity should not be able to do. They, like, they let her take out, oh, that is a speed trap. I said, well, maybe you shouldn't be speedling. Well, he didn't hop out. Speedling. That should, he's just trying to take people off. Okay. I love this place. Boomers! I'm trying to like boomers. I like miniature golf. I like go karts. And they have those 4D rides, don't they? I think. Yeah. You and Crystal used to squawk whenever you saw a 4D ride. That's what you sound like. Because, like, they have them on um, Pier 39 in San Francisco. And I knew if we were going to Pier 39, I better be having the money ready for y'all to do the 4D rides. And what was that gyro spear thing y'all did? That cost me a bloody fortune all four of you, right? I don't remember what it was, but I remember the, the actual being there, you know what I mean? It's that thing, remember, and you guys were strapped to it, and it spun in, like, six different directions. There like, was, like, these little yeah. metal circles, and they all went... No, I, I said I remember being there. All four of them went on it. Hey, let's get your Exploratorium the word. Exploratorium, yeah, I'm taking you all there. We went there for your birthday, your ninth birthday, I believe. Sarah was in Patches on Ninth, tenth birthday, something like that. Because you were all into science. I still am. You still into science. Mm, I gotta see a dissected brain in pieces. Remember? That brain was like sliced into. Oh, yeah, I, but I've already seen the body exhibit. So that was like yeah, minor. It, take me. it was in Las Vegas. Didn't take me. You didn't go on that trip. And those tickets were for what you got. You're to not going to take your autistic little child to the place where they love. Do you I didn't take you to the. Uh, what are those people? The the Beatles show in Las Vegas. Cirque du Soleil. I didn't go. Did I go to the Beatles one or did I go to the Elvis one? You went to the Elvis one. I went to the Elvis one. No. You I went to the Beatles one and you were a big man. Mm -hmm. And you were really, really, really angry at me. The Elvis one hadn't opened yet. It was the next one coming. Yeah. yeah. I went to go see. But I have pictures of you with me and Grandma were in Vegas standing in front of the Beatles and the Elvis signs because they're cool. I'll remember now. Trini's favorite band of all time is My Chemical Romance. Right? No. No. Nope. They used to be. Do I have it wrong? 21 Pilots. I'm sorry. I should remember that. I went to the concert. I made her cry. <laughs> so I won tickets to the 21 Pilots after I tried and tried and tried to get them and we couldn't get them. I won tickets. The morning of the show on the radio on the radio and she was in school while this happened and so it was valentine's day and i think i sent you balloons or something yeah a singing balloon and then and then oscar hit it so hard i'm not worried about the balloon getting popped it right? didn't pop or it, it, it flew, flew away the string and just but like, like it was like a really expensive balloon that sang and stuff like that it was cute it was really cute Grandma but but, and I told her, uh, I'm picking up early or going to 21 Pilots that night. And so she's crying at school because, like, that's all she had wanted. And we searched and searched and searched months before to get them for her birthday. And they were sold out everywhere we looked. And, like, I wasn't paying the scalping prices that were out there. And I won two tickets that morning. And it took, like, 
an act of Congress to get us there. Because <laughs> I was in Modesto, she was in Chowchilla. It was in Fresno. And it was in Fresno, and, but we made it happen. The best part was going to school the next day and seeing all the kids wearing the Twin Pilot shirts. About all the kids who went, yeah. yeah. Got you a t-shirt from the Twin Pilots. Pilots. So, it has holes in it, but I still remember it to this day. It was a long time ago. It was, be it was before you got sick, wasn't it? It was 2017. No, you were sick. That was a junior. It was before they pulled you from school. Yeah. Because so you didn't do your senior year at on campus because you were a fall risk. Christina was going through her yearbooks with Jacob, and she said to the group chat, Girl, were you really only in the senior yearbook? And I was like, yeah. You weren't there? No. Oh, you started the second half. Mm -hmm. I was only in the senior yearbook. How crazy. Well, freshman year, you were in Nevada. Yeah. Sophomore, Sophomore year, year Oakdale. Oakdale. Junior and then year didn't come back until half because it was in... The first half of junior year, you were at K-12. Yeah. Cava, California Virtual Academy. Uh -huh. Because you didn't want to go to school looking ugly. But then she tried the second half. Well, she went the second half of her junior year at Churchill High. But then senior year, she just wanted a new band. Mm -hmm. She she went to band camp. It was all this thing. She had it. She was going to be drum captain. And then uh, she there was no was. She texted me the day I got out of surgery mm -hmm. and was like, "You're the drum captain." And, and then I was like, "I have to resign." And then she had to resign, and she was being mad at me. And I'm like, "I don't know what you want me to do." Jackson did not deserve it. Stop. Don't say that. Yeah. No. No. Don't say he that. He was a freshman. Don't say that in public. He was a freshman. He did not deserve to be the captain. That is reserved for the upper class. She was being mean, guys. I... Says the clarinet player. In junior high. Not in high school. Oh, hell no. Not in high school. I was a cheerleader. <laughs> I was on academic decathlon. Oh, yeah. Student I did government. decathlon. I did uh, student government. Um, I was a president of Future Business Leaders of America. I was in Lincoln. Yeah, I was in FFA. You're taking exit 241. Which is like the next miles. one. 0.8 miles, not the next exit. Oh, it's a, I always forget this little Austin exit. Um, I did a lot of things in high school. And I worked damn near all the time. Plus, I babysat almost every weekend. Sometimes I'd babysit the kids while I ran the feed store. Fun times. We have made it to Mantica. What are you doing? Jude. Jude? I haven't talked to him in a while for the... Jude. Huh? Iowa. Plant boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just, this kid, Jude... Has, like his whole apartment is just plants. I don't know how he keeps them all alive. Yeah, like my house is where plants go to die. Like for Mother's Day, a couple of years ago, my mom went got me a uh, bougainvillea because I love them so much. Yeah, no, it didn't last like three months. It died. I was like, <laughs> you sent me an attachment. Who sent an attachment? My other child, Jude? No. Jeff. Jeff? Yeah. Jeff is Trinity's biological father. Who's battling his own health conditions right now. Like he's in the hospital, I think, for five weeks. And he's now on dialysis. So we have to go to Georgia soon. That's a Kiki and a Boba. That's a Kiki and a Boba. Apparently, um, how do you explain that? A kiki um, and a boba. Okay, so kiki and boba are like the two classifications of shapes. So a boba is like a round, a smooth, soft, like, and a kiki is very sharp. Yu-Gi-Oh's hair, or whatever his name is. <laughs> You're right. Yu-Gi-Oh's hair is Yu-Gi. Yu-Gi. What is it? Yu-Gi. Yu-Gi's hair is a kiki. Steven Universe's hair is a boba. Is a boba. See that man is a kiki man in a boba car. He is a kiki man in a boba car. <laughs> <laughs> but that little freaking car up there is a boba. Yes, a boba. 
It looks like a marsh and a marshmallow. What's the marine layer? Of what? Like earth? But what? I saw videos like you can see the marine layer. What is that? I don't know. I Why am not a geologist. A marine layer is an air mass that develops over the surface of a large body of water, such as a ocean or large lake, in the presence of a temperature inversion. Oh, it's the clouds that hang over the water. Huh. Show my people a little bit of the coast. Maybe I, I we can go home a different way and I can say, look at the ocean. We can go to Fancy Beach Taco Bell. I'm not taking you to Fancy Beach Taco Bell. You hate me. Maybe I'll take you to Fancy Beach Taco Bell. I want to go, like, do something fun. <laughs> not today, see? But I can't. Poor Tomato, he just wants to dance. But he can't. I'll show you. Veggie Tales reference. There, look at that. We driving over there. There's, there's a city over there. Oh, yeah. Very blurry. Sorry about that. All right, Cece, we're here. Bye bye. Her doctor, the spine doctor, or the ortho slash spine doctor, uh, said apparently I was unaware of this, but back in her last hip X-ray, um, that it looked like there was some impingement. Of the which hip? The left. the left hip. Which is the one she says hurts the most, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we did new x-rays on that. And then she agrees that um, the newer back pain is most likely caused by whatever's going on with the lung. And then, um, so we got the x-rays done today of the hip and the spine because they're checking on the scoliosis and kyphosis and see if something changed there. And the, the hip, they're checking to see how that went. And then an MRI is scheduled for... Why is the MRI scheduled for? Full body. Oh, and, and then we had, she ordered an MRI, but we couldn't do the MRI where we were today. So we had to do that at our normal imaging center. And so now we decided that since we're this close, we're going to take you to the beach. Good to set. Santa Cruz. How are you now? 101? Mm. South. I'm on 101 South and I'm headed to... She does not know how to answer people. What? I'm headed to what? The 85 South? 85 South. I, I was reading the text. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you were talking to me. <laughs> I almost said, who do you think I'm talking to? And then I remember. Oopsie. Don't feed no birds over here. Oh. I thought you were saying, don't feed Jack Diddley. And I was like, what? No, don't feed Jack Diddley over here. Birds come flying at me, I'm going to whoop your butt. What if I catch one? They're free. No. You've already had a bird. And he was murdered. So I need him to be avenged. <laughs> you can't just say that. When Trini was little... My brother was here. Hayden was two. So. My my brother was here visiting. Well, I was ten. Um, because my dad was dying of cancer. Oh, yeah. And um, the, our local county fair was going on in our town, and my brother took Trini over to the barnyard scramble, which means basically they let loose all these little baby animals in this pen, and they let loose the kids. And if you can catch it, you can keep it. Tell me why my brother let that child bring home a baby duck. At the time, I the house was not lake front. To be fair, I originally picked up a kitten, and I thought you'd be mad at me for that. So I grabbed oh, a, big a, a, a bird instead. Oh, yeah, because that's better. Yep. So, and I thought he would live less. Uh -huh. And now, they brought this freaking baby duck home in a box on the motorcycle. And my mom... Let her keep the baby duck at her house. The baby duck grew, was growing, but would run and play on the slip and slide with Trinity and her two younger cousins. It was kind of priceless. I, we have video of it somewhere, I just don't know where. Um, there's pictures of the baby duck, Sammy. Uh, he would stick his whole head in your mouth. He was crazy. He'd bite your lip. It was, it was, 
Well, and so he went and lived at Grandma because my mom's house is on a lake. Like, her backyard is lake. Um, and, uh, what was I saying? Oh, but Sammy wouldn't go in the lake. It's like, there was other birds in there and it was dirty. So he had his own little pool and he would throw a tantrum if his pool water got dirty. Tantrum. And then one day while Trinity was at school or one night or something and Trinity didn't notice, um, foxes got in and uh, got Sammy. So yeah, Sammy was a big light deck. And he was so mean to me. He hated me. He could sense your fear. And he would charge me. Oh, I hated him. If you wouldn't have been afraid of him, he wouldn't have had a problem. He's a bird. I hate this You act traffic. like we've gone like five miles. I hate this traffic. This is why we're not trying to battle out of the bay. Well, we're right up from the Bay Area to Santa Cruz, but it's still like Bay Area is esque, adjacent, whatever. But if you're trying to go from the Bay Area to the Central Valley, it's a, why can't I speak today? From the Bay Area to the Central Valley, you don't go during rush hour. It's a bad plan. Here you go. Winchester Boulevard. Is that where Winchester Mystery House is? No, probably. Trendy. You've really never been there. Really, really. Let's go to the Winchester Mystery House. I've been there multiple times. And she's big mad about it. She has a Winchester Mystery House pin. Somewhere. <laughs> we bought, I bought one last time I went. <laughs> if you are unaware, the Winchester Mystery House is, uh, I think it's Sarah Winchester was her name. Um, Mary. How? No, Sarah, yeah. Mary Winchester is from Supernatural. Oh. Sarah Winchester uh, was the, like, what would you call that? Heiress of the Winchester Rifle Company. And. The widower? I mean, the widow. I think she was the daughter, wasn't she? No, she married the guy. Oh, did she marry him? Oh, okay. whatever. That was your ex. This is my ex. Yeah, that's what I said. That was your ex. You need to get over it. Okay. Um, and she was a little bit crazy. And she believed that the spirits of the people who were killed by the Winchester yeah. rifles uh, were haunting her. And she's like, she would do these seances and call all these psychics in and all this stuff. And they had convinced her that as long as she never stopped construction on the home, that the spirits couldn't find her. So, like, it, like, was, it would confuse them. It would confuse them. So, like, it was under constant construction for decades. There's staircases that lead to a brick wall. There's a door you can open, and it just opens onto, like, the third floor of the outside. The seance room only has one way in, but, like, seven ways out and shit. It's, like, crazy. Um, it's really neat. So, Winchester Mr. House is over here by Santa Cruz. I know that part. Okay, so now... This is our view. We are on, what's this, Highway 17? If you get car sick, probably not the time to be watching this video. <laughs> Whoa, vertigo be upon me. <laughs> I'm like, welcome to the Kirby's. I gotta put this down. I need both hands. Santa Cruz is directly in front of us, guys. I can actually see the roller coasters. I don't think you guys can yet, but. Oh no, let me go. Stop being worried about her. I know. The Little Caesars is up here. It's on, over there. I know, but... but. <laughs> I just triggered memories in this child because normally when we would... Uh, uh, when I'd bring the kids over for the day, they would cruise the boardwalk all day and then when we left, there's a, a Little Caesars like right there and we'd stop and get Little Caesars and they'd eat in the way. After they've gotten out of their swimsuits and into their sweat, we'd get them hot pizza and they'd eat pizza in the car on the way home. I don't think you need the map anymore, right? No. Um, if you can't find the boardwalk, get help. I need this car not to know. But that's the boardwalk straight ahead. We sit at the Carousel Hotel. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. I haven't seen this one. What? This is the new one. Remember, it used to be the uh, the blue one. Oh, the one we hated. Uh huh. 
to beat the far out of you. But this this is a new one. wooden one to the right, guys, is uh, the Giant Dipper. The Giant Dipper. The largest. Nope. The oldest. The, I mean, the old, largest one here. Yeah, but it's the oldest. With it. Wooden There's roller some, coaster. Yeah, wooden roller coaster in California, I think. It's spicy. From 1924. It's 100 years old. Mm-hmm. And then that green thing I've had is the log Logger's ride. Logger's Revenge. Oh. And this is like the kitty land down here. just said, oh, hell no, and left. They threw stuff, stuff down on the ground. And that peacock was like, I will win. <laughs> oh, he's coming towards me. Oh, why is he? Why? I think it's a girl. I don't know. He's, ooh. Oh, no. Where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, and Zoom. There's turtles in there. Mm -hmm. And then over here. Hold on, there's people. Carousel. I don't want to catch them on the camera. The carousel. What? Stay in our cozy Casa de Cabins? When did they do that? This is where you get on the train. Oh, duck! A duck! Oh, duck. Hold on, where is he? Right there. And then we have Casa de Sweets. This is the candy shop. And the ice cream and the bakery. And then Casa de Wine and Deli. I wonder what they're building over there. Casa de, 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 de Cabins. Casa, Casa de, de New, new and Improved Restrooms. Garden or Dust. Oh, we like that. They have really cute stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Casa de Fruit, a tasting room. Yeah, the wine tasting. So that was Casa de Fruit, guys. And they have the fruit stand and I always close the maps. Do you need the maps? Not really. I don't think. Unless there's traffic. Here we go.